Yeah. What, 150 bucks, take them all? Morning. Morning. Looking for anything special? Just kind of browsing. Right. Would you take ten for your DVD player? Uh, 20. No, my, most of the stuff is my daughter's. Gotcha. Is that the recorder? Yeah. Yeah. That thing has hardly been used because she couldn't figure out how to use it. And it cost over $100. I didn't believe What'd you mean in the middle? Do 15? Uh, it's worth 20 bucks. You mind if I plug it in? Sure. Right over on the table where the lamps are, uh -huh. I've got a plug sitting there. Okay. Looks like it's working. I'll do the 20 bucks. Okay. Appreciate it. Let me plug it in. Glad you can use it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Uh, I hope so. Most of this stuff is hers. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Huh? How much is your backpack? Let me think on it. I'm going to look around a little bit. Yeah, sure. What do you want for your uh, dumbbells? Maybe like a dollar? Sure. Would you do 10 on the backpack? Sure. All right, I'll do that. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. That um, uh, rock band set, do you have the little wireless adapter that goes with it? Yeah, I thought it was there, wasn't I it? I had the games where I put it on. The, the games over there. here, okay. okay. Oh, it's right here. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. I put it up there. I didn't want it to get lost. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Um, how much are your uh, pumpkin blow molds? <laughs> A dollar. Okay, I'll take both of those too. <laughs> So, yeah, 42. I think I put 40 on the whole. Yeah, you did. Thing yeah. With everything. There you go. Thanks so much. Thank you. Sir. Good luck with the sale. Thank you so much. <laughs> The box is a little beat up. Would you go 15 on that? Um, let me see. What did I do? I have 25 on yeah. it. Yeah. 
Would you do 20? I'll do 20, sure. sure. Yeah. You know, I was shocked my daughter didn't want to keep it. She does the comic expo. Oh, does she? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, the Duke Energy Center. That's so cool. Yeah. Good luck with your sale. Thanks. Thank you. You have a good one. You too. Enjoy the weather. take your saddlebags. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. I'll keep looking around. I'll probably find something else. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Did you sell this without selling the whole bag? Uh, How much is the bag? The box is 15 bucks. I yeah. Here's 50 cents for me. All right. Two bucks? Sure. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, thank you, guys. We'll go ahead and take these two as well. Okay. I'm just going to start a pile if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Instead so of just carrying it all around. Harry Potter stuff. Oh, yeah. I'll set this over here. Oh, sure. Well, I'll set it down here. I don't want to scratch up your glass top. Yeah, those come in handy. I'll take the box too. Bruce Bolt batting gloves. Hmm. I might get this too. This was on that table okay. over there. If you want to add me up, and now I think I'm probably done. 70? All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Is this your sale? Oh, hey, how are you? Did you buy out of J.C. Penney or something? The, um, yeah, these are my sample from sales rep for Polo. Oh, okay, gotcha. Five dollars. Everything size medium. Um, and then there are a few men's socks left on this table. But, okay. Um, yeah. Interesting. What about the uh, sweaters and like the... Yeah, all that stuff? is, it's actually all loungewear. Okay. And I put all the heavy gauge, like the waffles and the fleece, uh -huh. is all over there against the wall. And then there's some packaged underwear up there on the front table. What are you asking for that stuff? Five bucks. Everything's five bucks? Five bucks a pack. And then... These are all, you know, five bucks a piece. Okay. Huh. You got 22 packs here. Would you do $80 if I just got them all? I got more in there. Wow. Yeah, I'm all about taking, getting, getting all of them in one fell swoop. There's 47 of them. What, 150 bucks? Take them all? 47 in the box? Or total? total, there's, yeah, 22 plus 25 in here. Uh, 
Yeah. Alright, awesome. I appreciate it. Let me go get some cash on my car. Okay. Let me get, I'll get you another box for these. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. This will work. I don't need another box. Is that okay? Yeah. I just wanted to get them off the table so no one else buy I appreciate it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, good luck with your sale. Yeah, thanks. All right, I'm back at the shop. I got a ton of stuff today. This is probably the best day I've had in a long time. It seemed like every sale I was going to, I was finding stuff. So let's get into it. I got this blow mold right here and these two pumpkin blow molds. I paid a dollar each for these and I paid 10 for this one. I think I'm just going to list all three of them local on Facebook Marketplace. Anytime I list blow molds on Marketplace, they sell really quickly. I'm thinking maybe like 50 to $75 range for all three. Yeah, really happy with those. I got some um, Harley Davidson leather saddlebags. I think he said it was for a 2002 Sportster. The uh, buckles have like, I wouldn't call this corrosion, but there's definitely like some, some green gunk kind of built up on here. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. But I only paid 20 bucks for these. And I think they're selling between like 150 to 200. There's so many variations of these things. So I gotta make sure um, I get the right listing. And as soon as I saw they were that cheap and what they were going for, I just went and paid them right away. I get that question in the comments a lot. like. Why don't you just wait to the end to pay for everything? Well, if I've got something really good, I just like putting cash in their hand, especially if I'm just gonna like leave it sitting there. So there's no chance of somebody else really buying it. I got this Guitar Hero set with the drums and everything, but I did not notice until I got back here that this cord for the cymbal is broken. So that means this unit right here is pretty much bunk. I'm not gonna be able to use that uh, or sell it, but I can still sell the guitar. Uh, probably the foot pedal and uh, the dongle. That little dongle alone will probably sell for close to what I paid for all of it. I paid 40 bucks, and these little uh, wireless dongles get lost all the time, so they've got really good value. It looks like this one's for the drums, and that was the only one they had, but still. Uh, it seems like every time I sell these, uh, either the Rock Band or the Guitar Hero one, they go for like 30 to 40 bucks. I think some of them go for even more. Um, I don't think the game has a lot of value, but we can go ahead and list that too. I got this Sylvania uh, VCR DVD combo unit. Has the remote. She let me plug it in and I could confirm it at least, you know, powered on and uh, played a VHS tape. I didn't want to pay a lot for this because the brand's Sylvania. The, it didn't have a super high sell-through rate and the ones that did sell were going for like 40 to 45 bucks. So not a ton of profit to be made after fees, but there is a little bit of profit, especially since it has the remote. Got this really cool Barbie Wonder Woman in the box. The box does have some damage, which is gonna hurt the value, but I still think it'll sell for around 60 to 70 bucks. I paid 20 for that. I got this Wings of Fire book set for five bucks. I'm just gonna give that to my daughter because uh, she loves dragon books. She's been reading everything she can get her hands on. Uh, at that same sale, I got some air tools. It seems really rare that I find air tools for a reasonable price. And these were all 10 bucks, uh, which was great because it seemed like from what I could tell, they were going between 40 and 50 bucks each. Um, that one is Chicago pneumatic. This one is Ingersoll Rand. They actually make tractors too. I got a backpack, uh, Jansport. Uh, it's got a metal frame. Looked like it was in pretty good shape too. I paid 10 bucks for it. And at that same sale, I got two dumbbells. These are very old Weeder brand dumbbells. They're cast iron. And I guess the style is called bun. I didn't realize that I've never found these old ones. Uh, these are five pounds each. And the pair I saw was going for about 50 bucks. I saw some 10 and 20 pounders that were selling for like $200. So keep an eye out for the old cast iron weights. I know I've talked about this before. Um, a good brand to look out for is York. Y-O-R-K. So doesn't look like anything special, but definitely keep an eye out for these. Got some Halloween lights at one sale. These are by the brand Fun World. Um, I did not see any solds on these, just active, which was really surprising. I paid $2 each. I thought Vintage Halloween would be selling. Uh, it is right around the corner, so I'm going to list them right away. I'll try to get like 20 bucks a pack for them, something like that. They're pretty neat. I'm hoping somebody will jump on them. Let's see. I got a... Uh, Disney on Ice, Moana doll, uh, with the tags for a dollar. I got a uh, Whirlpool water filter for a buck. These are really neat. I've never seen Bruce Bolt 
batting gloves. I paid $15 for them. They're used, and they're selling for like $50 to $60 used. So really cool find there. Got a Yankee Candle for 3 bucks. Never used. Seems like I'm finding a ton of Yankee Candle jars lately. Let's see. I got this Jacob's Chuck for 10 bucks. It's going for about 30 I got this huge box of office supplies for $15. A lot of this stuff I really don't need. Like there's some clips in here, a bunch of ink pens. But the reason I bought it is because there were like seven or eight of these classroom mounting kits, uh, Scotch brand. There's some command strips in here. Just a lot of things that I think I can uh, lot together and sell. Velcro, like, you know, you buy this stuff from the store, it's like 10 bucks sometimes. So I think I can lot them up on eBay and get a little bit of money for them. And then the rest of the stuff I'll just keep, give to the kids. My best find of the day was definitely the Polo Ralph Lauren stuff. I got a whole bunch of boxers and uh, tanks and shirts, all new in the packaging. I got 47 total pieces. All of them aren't here. I already started listing some of them, but I, I paid $150. So just a little bit over $3 uh, per package on these. And they're regularly selling right at 30 bucks. So I'm really happy with these. Even with free shipping, I think I can clear like $20 after fees and everything per pack. So awesome buy there. That guy was actually a sales rep for Polo, he said. And he had like individual boxers, he had socks, loungewear. He had a lot of stuff. Everything was $5 an item. It didn't matter what it was. It was all $5 an item. But all that other stuff didn't have the original tags. It had like a sales rep tag on it, not like a retail tag. So I don't think I could have sold anything else as new. All of these have the packaging. That's why I jumped all over those. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.